Welcome to the Solidarity concert to now closed, sadly, youth center here in Berlin, uh, SJZ uh, Drugstore slash Potze. I'm here with the headliner of tonight, Pleasure Dome. So first of all, guys, uh, please tell us a little about the band. Who and what is Pleasure Dome? Well, it's um, a, it's a punk alternative cover band that uh, I did in England before I moved here and then when I, when I came here started it again and got these very talented people involved in it and um, that's it really yeah so it's as complicated as it gets so who is here at the moment I don't know the names <laughs> do they have uh, artistic <laughs> names <laughs> piss artistic yeah. well there's Adam he's the singer oh. Nicola the drummer Leonard, the bass player, and Siri, the backing vocalist and percussionist and dancer, and me on bassoon. Okay, and what kind of uh, music and shows do you do? Well, it's all based on kind of a lineage of uh, glam rock, punk rock, alternative, um, which I don't really see other bands doing much, you know, so it's like Bowie, Rocks and Music, T-Rex, Sex Pistols, Smiths. Or, you know, along that line, rather than, um, you know, like a particular tribute band, we, we're Brian Adams or something, and you're bashing out loads of Brian Adams B-sides that everybody's like, oh, what the fuck's this? Okay, so what's the, um, well, is there a position for glam rock or punk in today's society? You know, is there another Sex Pistols? Is there another uh, David Bowie on the horizon? I doubt it. I don't think there could be, because the way the media is so fractured now like when they happened everybody watched say in England everybody watched Top of the Pops so the entire generation was watching that one show that wouldn't happen now would it because it'd be on computer games or the internet or one of the 900 channels of shite okay and uh, what prompted you to throw this uh, solidarity gig well we we formed at, at drugstore L Lane is on the committee there I've been going there nine years. I've got two bands there together, um, a, a stage musical too, and it was just a fantastic place. And that this gentrification thing that's happening is uh, bad, basically. It takes away the, the very eccentricity that people come to Berlin for. It's getting homogenised and turning into, into any old place, you know. Somebody else want to blast Yeah. Me. Yeah, well, I come to drugstore since 2005, I think, and I formed my first, yeah, kind of schooly band there, you know, and then really learned the craft of being a musician there at drugstore, and it gave us all, like, a chance to, to develop our skills, and, uh, yeah, everybody works for free there, so it's all this capitalistic society idea is not present there and we try also now where it's closed to uh, keep the spirit going for the next generations so hopefully in a new place or uh, yeah right now we're in exile so we're at the uh, Rote Insel what's also part of the yeah group also with Tommy Weisbecker house like these three projects we're like one group so we're all helping each other right now but yeah you feel it every day for like when you need a rehearsal room as a band like now you have to pay for it basically and it's not ever as nice as it used to be no. it's, it's like it, look, the rest of the planet is as if this planet is being turned into a theme park of itself you never actually get the real thing you get some corporate theme park version of it that's all sanitized and uh, unreal and when you uh, from my generation, or as old as me, you see it, you can see it. I, I, I doubt somebody 20 could, because that's all they've known. But it's it's bollocks. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's what us older generations have done, you know. <laughs> it's yeah. uh, like us <coughs> for the pay. But uh, it's it, this might be a mute question, but uh, uh, what thoughts the closing of uh, Drugstore or Potze uh, brings to you guys? Uh, what are the like uh, the first feelings and thoughts? Doomsday thoughts. 
it does feel like uh, yeah like the sky is coming down and uh, well in a literal not in, quite in a literal sense but uh, it does feel very sad that that uh, yeah we simply no longer will meet there in this particular place where we met so many times before and met so many other people that do other things but they have a similar spirit so yeah we're i'm already missing that yeah it's very depressing uh, you know like because i've been going there so long it's normal in my in my life and you, you forget it's gone for a minute and then you sort of it feels like a death a death of like a, a good idea straight society can't deal with some of the people that that place deals with and and helps them to heal by understanding their kind of slightly marginalized uh, outlook on life and and like welcoming it rather than trying to bland it out into the theme park stuff and you know if if that goes I'd, I'd have thought it would lead to more mental illness, which perhaps they want, because then they can sell drugs to those people, can't they? Yeah, yeah, but, well, uh, cities like Berlin and maybe Amsterdam even more have been leading the scene, but it seems that Berlin is dropping the ball on this one. So uh, how do you see the overall situation here in Berlin for the youth centres? It's squads? under a lot of pressure. Obviously, these corporate entities are trying to squeeze them out because I mean drugstore was in what is obviously an extremely lucrative bit of real estate mm. in that big building and you know they, they saw that and just slowly worked on getting it for themselves and the, as far as I can see they're gonna make a kind of homogenized drugstore for for yuppies what are you saying now I, I'm doing the song now Oh no. I forgot my words now. No. Well, you can edit it. You can edit it. Just get on with it. It's, it will Stop be edited. Yeah. Me. So, wherever you think you've gone wrong, just say, Quat. Quat? Quat. Yeah, I think they do a big mistake there by uh, pushing the creative youth out of their beloved places. Because, like, there will be anger be forming, you know, there is no place where young people can meet. And, and not I, so young, sorry to interject, but not so young as well, people. Not so young, sorry. Yeah, it's like a, well, it's a place where age doesn't matter, where money doesn't matter. Um, and they will get, get it back at some point. I don't know how, but like these people are kind of damaged by this, you know. Mm -hmm like disappointed in the in the official world and yeah anybody else you want to say no it's just shit I mean. she's nailed it yeah. words. Oh. all that stuff we said could be boiled down to what siri said do you, uh can you weigh in uh in a broader sense for the whole germany is uh is berlin just like uh the first uh like well, Berlin is a number it's, not, it's, it's not always been a torch holder, but is is it the first stronghold to fall? Possibly, well, Britain, I think, was. I mean, I, I came here from Britain because of this creeping corporateness that was happening there, and it changed such a lot since I was young, and this place made me feel very similar to what Britain was that's gone now. And then it's all like putting its sticky tendrils here, you know. Another band. Hello. <laughs> so what kind of steps should uh, us as Berliners do and what kind of steps, you know, should the pol politicians do? So um, well, just they blast should, away. The politicians should realize that they can't sell out the city because there's people uh, involved, you know, and money is not the main thing. It's, yeah, about people and the relations between them and creativity and the, the, they're killing the golden goose you know in that old nursery rhyme or a fairy tale they've got a golden goose and then they, 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 they're gonna kill it so it'll just be like everywhere else bland and it's like it's all up in Aesop's fables all this stuff there's nothing new happening here this is like a cycle of dim-witted greedy human behavior again yeah, and like we as uh, from the drugstore and also we as a band, you know, we just 
keep fighting to get the message out there, really, that there's more important things. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Thank you so much, and so we say farewell to the planet. Farewell, yeah. planet, <laughs> and Berlin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. All right. Are you coming in for the show? Of course, of course. I just Excellent. need to...